Hey guys, it's Skylar. It's currently Thursday, October 7th. It is Texas Hate Week. We all know I go to OU. So I'm gonna take you guys on this journey with me this weekend. I'm about to walk into my last class. It is social media marketing. I have a test. Hey, Dr. Gaddy. Uh, wish me luck, guys. And I'll let you know how it went when I come back and we'll start our weekend. All right, I just got back to my car. Went really well. So let's start this weekend off by working out because fair food's not kind to us. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. I'm still gonna go work out, but a little change of plans. I realize I don't have any food in my place and I need to eat. So let's see what I make. So here's what I ended up making. It's like a little spinach, chicken, pesto pasta with some other veggies, yum. Okay, we changed locations a tiny bit for lighting purposes, but let's try her. All right, let's go inside. Hey guys, currently 8.20 p.m. Just got out of the gym. Didn't really want to film in there because it was super busy, but got a good workout and good sweat going. Did some cardio on the stair climber, did some abs, some leg work. Now it's time to just kind of go home and relax and get ready for tomorrow. Good morning. It is Friday. This is my roommate, Nikki. We're all about to drive down to Texas, but first we made some breakfast. Let me show you. Yum. We have some avocado toast, some turkey bacon, some eggs. All right, let's try it. <laughs> I think we have to keep that. I think we have to keep that. Okay, come on, try it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I hope we clean the counters. <laughs> Hey guys, it's currently 3 p.m. I just got in my car. Let's head to Dallas. A little later leaving than I wanted to. We're gonna get there at about 6.45. I have an apartment right downtown, so let's go. All right, we're an hour in right now. We just passed Turner Falls. We're getting into the Arbuckles right now. I'll show y'all in a second. I took geology class and I actually wrote a final paper about the Arbuckles. If you have any interest in that, go look it up. It's actually dope. All right, I'll show you the what's well what's left of the mountains when we get there <laughs> all right look at these guys just like wow wow beautiful okay i'm gonna geek out for a second i'm gonna tell y'all a story really quick about these super quick basically the arbuckle mountains are the oldest mountain range in the u.s and i just thought that was a really interesting fact because i was like in oklahoma for why like that's cool that's dope they used to be taller than the Appalachians. So I somehow just now realize I have eight miles left in my tank and the gas station is like seven and a half away. So uh, pray for me. <laughs> all right, all is good in the world. I just got gas. We are back on the highway. We're about two hours away, just past Lake Murray. Uh, yeah, we're getting there. I'll keep you guys updated. I've been pretty entertained this drive and it's honestly been really easy. It's not as crowded as I thought. Like my friend got her snap maps screenshot on oh what was it old row yeah it wasn't barcel sports it was like old row sooners and then like the official old row reposted it so she's famous now and this isn't like that at all and i'm glad but yeah i'll be back in a little hello we are about an hour and a half out right now sorry if my eyes keep darting traffic is getting really intense actually well i guess we kind of expected that yeah but yeah, hour and a half away from downtown Dallas. It is currently 5.15. Still kind of on track, but I'm supposed to get there about 6.45. No rush though. I was chatting with someone through the app and he was like, you're good girl. You're good. And so I'll keep you guys updated if anything eventful happens. But as of now, just annoying traffic on this great migration. <laughs> Hi, we're currently an hour out. Just got out of Denton. Traffic is still heavy, uh, but we're getting there. We're feeling good about it. I've been checking the app. I'm trying to figure out, or the app to check in, figure out how to get to my room and everything. I get like a key fob and stuff and like a passcode. So that's really nice, not sketchy at all. There's like six restaurants in this hotel apartment building thing. It's like both, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm trying to plan out brunch tomorrow too because I will be making, you will get to see all of that goodness. I'm definitely thinking bagels and cream cheese though because I'm like craving that right now, but I'll let you guys know when I'm closer. Here is downtown. We're about 15 minutes away. Getting close, getting excited. Traffic is horrendous. It's actually not that bad right where we are right here. Okay, buddy, <laughs> but 
we're getting through it slowly but surely. I was just looking at my friends' locations and they're all staying in like these hotels right around here. I love when cities downtown have trees. Like, oh my gosh, yes please. This is wild. This doesn't even feel like Dallas right here. There was just like a huge strip of trees with like no buildings a second ago. That's funny. I'm driving by so many cute restaurants. There's so many people out. Okay, I just parked underground. We're walking into the hotel. All right, guys, I just got to the apartment. It is so cute. Had to whip out the selfie stick for it. Okay, so we have kitchen. Very nice. Literally everything you need. Everything stainless steel too. The lighting is not my best friend here, but that's fine. Cute little table. These windows, I'll show you the view in a minute. Oh my gosh. Cute little living area. All right, let's go to the room. Oh, there's a little half bath too. Turn her lights on. You can see the city behind me. Okay. Right, nice. And the room, let me tell you. Just vibes. Very nice. Bathroom is also so nice. Oh my goodness. Like, look how big this shower is. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Hey. <laughs> and then there's like a little um, utility room and everything. And I kind of already unpacked a tiny bit just because I needed to. I had to. But yeah, there she is. We're going to make some dinner later. So I'm going to pick up some groceries from a Target downtown really close. And we'll get to it. Here's the view, ignore the glare, nice parking garage over there. A little cityscape action. Okay, little story time. I'm currently in the Target parking lot. I was kind of trying to hide myself from people because it's so busy. Got my order. Um, basically when I checked in, one of my keys was missing, like one of my two keys. So the guy was like, he let me in my room. He took the one key he had and he goes, let me go find the other one. He decides, he probably forgot. The guy probably got home and was like, oh my gosh. But like, he forgets to get me my key so I'm just like trapped in my room and then I get trapped multiple tra times trying to leave the hotel because everything is with this little key fob finally get down there there's no one at the little stand for this Airbnb service I'm using and literally literally I wait there for like 20 minutes there's a like, huge date party line at this bar in the hotel like massive I know like four people like Oh my gosh, finally get my key, everything's fine. I get trapped more times trying to get out even though I have the key fob, but hey, we got the order, we made it. Barely before they closed, I apologized to the guy so many times. He was like, no, we're here to serve you. And I was like, no, this is a madhouse today. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but it's currently 9.49, Target closes at 10. Um, let's go back and just kind of like prep for tomorrow. Some brunch, some dinner for tonight and get a little more settled in. Love the city views at night. Hey guys, it is currently 11.30. My friend just got here and I'm working on a little bit of homework for advertising media. We're about to kick some pizzas. Hey there, I'm, uh, I'm Skylar's friend. Got here just a little bit ago. She already went to Target. She got all the supplies to make pizza. That's what we're gonna do tonight. Uh, night before game day, got her early morning tomorrow. Early wake up call. It's gonna be a long day, so we're really feeling ourselves here. Found ourselves a little nightcap to help go to bed. But uh, she asked me to be in this vlog, so I hope you give her an A. Hi guys, it's game day. This is my roommate, Sarah. Say hi. hi. Made some brunch. Everyone say hi. Hello. We're going to the game in like an hour. We're just kind of getting some mimosas in, getting some carbs in. We're gonna go to the fair. See y'all later. So I wanted to show you guys what we have. We have some turkey bacon, some tots, eggs, bacon, <laughs> cute. Hot sauce, of course, cream cheese, yeah. All right, we just got our tickets for the fair. We're in. Waiting in line to get some tickets. Okay, go. It is hot as hell. Headed to the Ferris wheel, got some water. <laughs> It is currently 11.40, we're in the line for the Ferris wheel. I'll show you guys the view when we get up there. Okay, we're at the top of the Ferris wheel. Where's the stadium? The stadium's back there. Here are my friends, say hi. Hi, vlog. <laughs> Here's the 
Here's the view of downtown from the Ferris wheel. Okay, so we're just hanging out. I have a little beer. Hello. This is Nikki. Skyward. <laughs> and a new tour. Good afternoon. It's currently 2.07 p.m. I just got my phone back. Um, I left it in the Uber last night. I actually had to pull up to this man's house to get my phone back, so that's great. Um, we knocked a bunch, waited for probably like 10 minutes, tried to talk to some neighbors, got one of them, and then he finally opened his door. He was busy, and he basically was just like, here's your phone, and I was like, I'm so sorry for intruding, and he was like, no problem. Whatever, it, it ended up working out, but basically this morning I was freaking out. I got lost downtown because my I thought my navigation system would work and it wouldn't, and I didn't want to pay for parking. So I went back inside and printed out, or got the receptionist to print me out instructions. She was such a sweetheart. And then um, somehow made it back to my roommate's house, which I just left. Um, and yeah, we're back on the way to Norman now. We'll be there in three hours, probably more though. I'm expecting more because everyone is migrating back to Norman. So I'll give you guys updated, but everything's good. I'm alive. Sorry for the big break, but yeah, see you a little bit. Hey guys, just updating to say I got back safe. It's now Sunday evening, so I'm getting ready for classes tomorrow and stuff, but I had a lot of fun this weekend. Thank you guys for coming along on the ride with me and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.